Hi, this video is on how to tell time and it's part two and it's dealing on hours. Now this video is going to deal with um, how you tell time when the hour hand is not exactly on, on a number. So here you'll notice that we have the hour hand and it's, and it's actually in between the one and the two. Now in this situation uh, you'll notice uh, that it's it's actually going to be in between two numbers and as the hour hand is moving across uh, the clock it, it's going to be passing numbers so here in this instance since it's in between the one and in between the two we're actually going to say the number that it just passed since the hour hand travels this way it goes around clockwise it's actually it just passed one o'clock and it's in between the two and the one and since it just passed the one o'clock we're gonna say one uh, and then whatever a minute hand you would have here it would tell you what minutes there are but right now we're only focusing on the hour so here we're just gonna say one since it just passed the one we're gonna say one now let's go on to the second one now let's look here the hour hand has progressed from 12 all the way down over to here and if you notice that the hour hand is in between the four and the five and it just so happens that as it as the hour hand moved this way, it passed the one, two, three, four, and the four is the last one it passed before it's going to get uh, to the five. But it's in between the four and the five, and the four is the last one that it passed. So in this case, we're going to say it's four. The hour is four. Now, what is the hour on this one? And again, you'll notice that the hour hand has progressed from over here all the way around this way over to this point. And right now the hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9. So as you can see there's you could even draw like a little pie on here to make it easier for you to see which two numbers it's in between. In this case it's in between the 8 and the 9 and since it's in between the 8 and the 9 and the hour hand has just passed the 8 we're gonna say it's 8. The hour is 8 on this clock. On this one we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, so here, get, give it a go. Try to say what hour this is. <coughs> and don't forget, the hour hand travels clockwise, so it's going to come all over this way, past these other numbers, and back up to here. So now, um, look at it. Take a, take a second or two to try to tell the hour. And don't forget that the one thing you want to do is tell which numbers the hour hand is in between. In this case, it's in between the 11, and it's in between the 10. So, did you say uh, 10 o'clock? If you did, good job. It just so happens that the hour hand just passed the 10, so it's in here, in between the 10 and the 11, and since it just passed the 10, it's 10. The hour is 10 on this one. Now let's look here. Uh, and can you figure out what time it is here, what, what the hour is? Okay, so now if you said 7, you are definitely correct because the hour hand is in between the 8 and in between the 7. It's in here somewhere. And it's pointing right about here, which is in between the 8 and the 7. And uh, since it's in between here and it just passed the 7, we're going to say this is the hour is 7. So it's 7 right now. Now try this one. This is kind of a tricky one. Now the hour hand, as you know, it starts pointing at the 12 and it progresses this way and right now it's in between the 12 and the 1 so since it just passed the 12 and it's in between the 12 and the 1 we're gonna say that it's 12 o'clock and that's that's how you tell uh, the hour when it's not specifically on a number on an analog clock these clocks by the way that have hands on them the minute the hour hand and the minute hand and the second hand and they have the numbers around here. These are called analog clocks. And uh, we'll get into the digital ones later. But this is an analog clock, and that's that's how you tell the time when it's not specifically, or that's how you tell the hour when it's not specifically on a number. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, good luck in your classes.